Welcome y'all, this is Annie and I'm really excited to share this mystery box with y'all today. It is my first order from this vendor and the vendor is Zape. That's spelled Z-E-E-P but it's pronounced Zape. And I have wanted to order from Zape for a while but for whatever reason I would forget or like with her full release I dilly dallied over what I wanted to order so long that a lot of the things I was really interested in had already sold out and so then I was like never mind I'll just wait until the Christmas stuff came out so this time around I went in the very first day and I checked out and didn't let myself do the whole like debate over and over about different things so this is my first time ordering. I am really excited to have not smelled anything. The only thing I have done is remove my shipping label and go ahead and open up the box. But I have not looked at anything else. I haven't touched anything else. So you'll get to experience everything for the first time right along with me. Now, I know a lot of people really love her seasonal blends, especially around the Christmas time and um, for fall and there's some that I picked up that are really popular scents and then some that just were ones that sounded really good to me. Now you can see the inside is so cute with this kind of green and white and red plaid of the tissue paper. It looks really nice opening the box um, those things really do matter when we order from a vendor, just the presentation, if things are packed well, not only for things to survive shipping in a reasonable, you know, condition, but also opening the box. It's the first impression that we get of whatever's in this box and the care that this vendor takes with the product and, um, wanting their customer to have the best experience as possible. I appreciate the little thank you on top. Let's go ahead and look at this. Now I ordered this, I think it was November 1st, and then it was shipped on the 4th, and I had it by November 7th, but it is already into December, y'all. I am just so behind on things. I think everyone feels this, the end of the year, but there's just not enough time and too many things that have to get done, so. I, um, let me kind of check to see, I don't know if there's an invoice, but I just don't want my address blasted anywhere. Okay, um, there is a card, and it says, Beyond Grateful, Thank You, Experience Happiness Through Scent, and then it says, and for having sensational taste, we hope you love your products as much as we loved creating them for you. Your support of our small business means the world. Thank you. Love the Zape team. And then it has their information right down there if y'all would like that. But like I was saying, these last two months of the year, once Halloween rolls around, I feel like things just go into like triple time speed as far as just everything that has to be done and I I had so many other plans of things that I thought I was going to get to do as far as videos um, which some of them I still am going to do them they just won't get up before Christmas um, but I did want to go ahead and open this so I can start melting this for the holiday season and see know how her wax does in my home. Um, I have only melted one item from Zape and it was something that was sent to me. I don't know how old it was but if y'all let me know down below is this a vendor you feel like you can melt right away? Does it need six eight weeks cure time? Does it need a longer amount of cure time? And I know cure is so subjective. So much depends on our warmers, our preferences as far as scent intensity, for example, or the airflow and space that our home is. And that varies so widely that cure time, you know, really 
there's no cut and dried for any vendor rule for anyone out there. So I know a lot of this is going to require my own testing, but I'm just curious um, what y'all's experience and thoughts have been with this vendor. Alright, let me turn this around. I'm trying to like... this a teensy bit looks like I'm not sure if that's a sample or maybe this is a sample yes so I got a sample in body butter sugar scrub in holly berry I really appreciate that thank you so much it's fruity I definitely feel like there's some sort of evergreen, pine, maybe holly or mistletoe smell in there. It's a little bit light, but I definitely get a berry and like apple note in here. So looking forward to trying her sugar scrub. Um, I hear great things about those and her other body products. So I appreciate this so much, Ashley. I believe the owner's name is Ashley. All right, first up, I got one scoopable. She's known for having scoops, which is not something every wax vendor offers. And I do like scoops. Um, generally, from the majority of other vendors' scoopables that I've tried, they perform really well in my house. They tend to be a really strong, intense form of wax, although they don't always last as long as... Um, like as far as longevity in the melting session. But that I believe also has to do with the warmers that I use just because I use really high heat warmers. Any wax that I melt is likely going to not last as long for me just because the fragrance oil is evaporating at a much faster rate when you're melting something at 240, 250 degrees Fahrenheit compared to someone else who's using a warmer that's melting at 170 degrees, for example. So I love scoops and I'm really excited to try this. This is the only scoopable that I got from her and this is in Red Cup Season. This one is very beloved of hers from the holidays and it is basically, oh, I guess there's no scent notes on here, but I already know what this is. It is a peppermint mocha scent, basically. So the idea of getting a peppermint coffee and chocolate from Starbucks. And Starbucks notoriously has red cups for the holidays, right? If you've not used scoops before, it's a softer wax and you scoop it out and put it into your wax warmer instead of cutting it or it already being into a piece that you just drop in. And I broke the top a little bit. Usually they're quite light when you initially open them, but once you start digging into them with your little spoon or something like that, there's so much fragrance underneath. So I anticipate this being a lot stronger. I definitely get a chocolate note and just a hint of coffee and a hint of peppermint, but I anticipate it being a lot stronger once I melt it. I also got one bath care product. It was really, really tempting to get more, but I just decided to keep this down to a size that would fit into, what is this, a regional rate box A box for shipping, just because I didn't want to go overboard. I already have a lot of holiday wax that I need to make a dent on this year. So I just wanted to pick out a selection and not go all ham crazy on this. So the whipped soap is what I picked up in the scent Ho Ho Ho. And I don't know if she has the scent notes on here. No, it's a really pretty light pink with a little bit of white swirled in. And I know that this scent was a candy cane, I feel like candy cane, peppermint, you know, vanilla, cotton candy type scent. So let's go ahead and smell it. 
Ooh, y'all can see the texture. Hmm, this is gonna be so nice in the shower. I almost got the sugar scrub or the whipped soap that has the sugar scrub and exfoliant in there, but I wanted to try the whipped soap because I have a lot of scrubs that I need to finish and I don't really have a lot of whipped soap. So I picked this up. There were other scents that sounded really good, but this peppermint one just sounded like it would be nice for when I'm taking a shower. Even if I'm being, you know, kind of sensitive to scent that day, it would be peppermint and I could handle it. So definitely looking forward to trying this. I'll let you all know how it is once I get a chance to do that. And then I did have some other shapes that I almost got. There was one of the little, um, Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. They were the white cakes with the little red drizzle and the green sprinkles on top and they look so cute. Y'all know I am obsessed with those. I have been for years and I wanted to get those shapes but they sold out really fast. So you'll see I did pick that up in a clamshell but the only other shape that I went for was the red cup season in this brittle. I kind of wanted to pick up at least one item that wasn't in a clamshell and it's really pretty um, just creamy wax with red and silver little glitter it's not too heavy-handed on the glitter though and then it has this kind of milk chocolate almost caramely color drizzle and layered on the bottom so this is brittle and I'll probably cut these into smaller pieces or break them into smaller pieces and pop them into my warmers. The scent notes are espresso, peppermint, mocha, Uggs and leggings. Now I don't know if Uggs and leggings is a separate scent. If y'all know, let me know down below. I thought Uggs and leggings is what this actual whole scent used to be called and then it was changed to red cup season but maybe I'm wrong. Mm. It's a really nice chocolate. Um, definitely creamy and not like bitter like a dark chocolate would be. It's also not overly sweet. Com sometimes hot chocolate scents can be really overwhelmingly sweet and like cover up anything else that they're paired with but this is nice and the coffee note is not bitter and strong either it's there I can smell it just on cold and I'm hoping it'll come out a little bit more once it's warmed but it's not like opening this bag and just being hit in the face with coffee so I kind of wonder if people who don't generally like coffee scents would be able to appreciate this because the coffee is dialed back Again, though, I have not melted this yet. Everything in this video, these are just first impressions for me. So things could change once I use them or once they're warmed because a lot of times y'all know how it is with the fragrance. Things change on warm and things that you can't smell when it's cold come out or certain notes kind of change in the balance. So I'll let you know how this does. I am going to be doing a hot chocolate peppermint mocha peppermint hot chocolate war a little bit closer to Christmas so I'm planning on melting some of this even though um, it won't have as much cure time as a lot of the other scents just to kind of see how it compares to the other scents at least as far as um, scent enjoyment. Yeah, it's nice and a lot of hot chocolate scents do come across smelling like Swiss Miss hot chocolate, you know, that instant pack of hot chocolate that you get at the store. But this one doesn't smell quite as artificial on the chocolate note. So I, I am looking forward to trying this. It was one I wanted to pick up last year, but it was very popular and it kept selling out. And I just didn't want to make an order for just a few cents. So Red Cup Season. And I did order both that and the scoop deliberately because I want to have enough left over to enjoy for next holiday season. 
I really love hot chocolate, peppermint hot chocolate, peppermint mocha scents in particular in the month of December just because it reminds me of sitting around with my family on Christmas Eve and drinking hot chocolate and stirring it with a peppermint stick or maybe we do have peppermint hot chocolate um, and those are fond memories and I just I'm not normally a big fan of chocolate and wax but for some reason I like that in the month of December and I will melt a lot of it this year so definitely glad I got to try some of that or will be trying some of it all right in the clamshells the next one up is cousin Eddie and this is spiked eggnog cinnamon sticks and spiced orange I go back and forth on eggnog I kind of like drinking eggnog if it's a really good eggnog but in wax I found sometimes eggnog is um has like an off taste not taste has an off smell to it and then every now and then you find an eggnog blend that is just really amazing so I like that this had the addition of orange in here and the cinnamon because a lot of times the eggnog will be listed with nutmeg which I love nutmeg but I thought this would be a little bit different than some of the other eggnog since I had plus um, Christmas Vacation reference with Cousin Eddie. My husband loves Christmas Vacation. We usually watch it every year. And I thought this would be kind of fun to melt when we're watching that movie. So it is a pretty medium green with just a dash of light glitter on top. Okay. First off, I'm getting that cinnamon stick note. But it's not overwhelming on that. I also get the orange and I am getting kind of that custardy nutmeg eggnog scent. It's not very strong which it's possible that this needs more cure time. I don't know exactly when it was poured but I would say it's had probably at least a month based off of when I'm filming this and um, when it I ordered it so I don't know if I should let this sit for a while longer and melt after Christmas or if I can by the time Christmas arrives but yeah I like the addition of the orange and the um, more cinnamon than a lot of other eggnogs have in it I'm looking forward to trying this for sure I'm just gonna set these back in here next up is little drummer boy and this is crisp apple, brown sugar, bursting cranberries, and caramel fig. I love apple scents. I found really this year, and I I think I knew it last year, but I don't didn't like consciously realize it. But this year I've come to realize I really enjoy cranberry and wax. So next year I'm planning on picking up a little bit more of it to enjoy around the holidays and also in the fall time. And I also like fig. Oh, the color of this is gorgeous. It's like a dusty midnight blue with this gold, like flaky glitter on top. Really pretty, kind of reminiscent of the idea of a dark sky in the winter with shatters of like starlight across it. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but it is beautiful. First thing I get is like a brown sugar apple note. And I'm getting a little bit of that fig. Fig, even though it is a fruit, tends to be a little bit more of a perfumey scent in wax. But I like the addition of fig with that apple because this makes it smell a little bit more sophisticated than a, a typical sweet fruity scent might be. That's nice. I am definitely looking forward in, to melting this. Again, it's a little bit on the light side, but I don't know how long it's had. Okay, 
let me move along. This is one of the, I think the only one I got that was not a Christmas one. This is Basic Beach and the notes are coconut, vanilla, sea salt, and toasted marshmallow. I had been eyeing the whipped soap and sugar scrubs in this scent for a while and I decided to just pick up the clamshell in it to see if I liked it before picking up the body care. It's kind of a light green layered with kind of a medium tan on the bottom. Mm, yes, this is very nice. It's like oceany quality. Um, I don't think this is salty sea air though. It's more of like an ocean breeze and you definitely get that salty kind of airy aquatic brininess that salty sea air does have. But it doesn't seem to have that driftwood note in there. Yeah, I don't think this is salty sea air. Oh, I like this. And just a hint of coconut, but I don't really feel like this is a suntan lotion coconut. I probably won't melt it until summertime, but I am really glad I picked this up. Based off of cold smell, I would pick some of that body care up now <laughs> and give that a try. Next up is Cindy Lou Who, and this is Peppermint, Vanilla Bean, and Pink Sugar Crystals. It is a medium pink wax with just a tiny bit of silver glitter on top. And I like that none of the glitter has been too heavy handed. Sometimes that can be a pain to clean out of warmers for people, even though it's beautiful. So I appreciate that it's minimal. And Yeah, I get a very light peppermint note and then I get pink sugar in here, which pink sugar and peppermint I think are wonderful together. I don't really get the vanilla bean. This is a little bit of a soft, sweet, perfumey peppermint, but I think that's going to be really nice. Next up is Waiting for Santa and this is Spruce Trees Vanilla Custard Creamy Caramel and Candied Fig, and I thought this sounded really good. It's just a white wax with green kind of shards of glitter, or I'm not, I'm not sure exactly if that's glitter or some other kind of like thin type of glitter, but let me see if I can pop this out. Definitely get the spruce. That's the first thing I'm getting. I'm not sure if it's sugared spruce in here, but the other notes, it's definitely a sweet tree or sweet evergreen scent. I'm not really getting anything else, but it's sweet and the spruce, which I really like spruce. So I'll have to wait and see how that is once I've melted that to get a better idea for the scent. Popping those back in, because I keep forgetting to pop them there. Next up is Snow Angels, and this is Sweet Mint, Powdered Sugar, Fresh Cherry, and Coconut. This sounds a little bit like Serendipity, which I love Serendipity, but with the addition of Sweet Mint, and it seemed a little bit different than a lot of the typical like holiday scents, so I wanted to give it a try. And it is a white wax with just a little bit of silver glitter across the top. Okay. I'm trying to pop this out. Yeah, it does smell quite a lot like serendipity to me, but with just a hint of mint. And the mint is not overwhelming. It's not like super icy. Um, it's just like a light mint. Definitely get that creamy coconut and cherry, first of all. And it's a little bit more of a maraschino cherry, 
versus the candy cherry, which is definitely my preference with cherry. So looking forward to trying that. There's kind of a coolness to this, and I can see why it's called Snow Angel, because that mint is giving a almost like cold air feel. Next up is Christmas tree cakes, and this is fluffy white cake, buttercream filling, and a hint of Christmas spice. I really wanted this in the shapes, but I am at least, I'm, I'm still glad I got it in the clamshells. And it's a white wax with the red drizzle and green sprinkles. Definitely get vanilla buttercream in here. And there's a hint of something else. I'm guessing that's the cinnamon spice, but I'm not sure what that is. It's a really light hint of spice. And the, if I had to guess, I would say it's some sort of a cinnamon note, like cinnamon sugar, but I will have to wait and see until I melt it because this overall is very light. And then the last item I got, item I got is Christmas in a Cup, and this is eggnog, sugar cookies, espresso, and sweet cream. I don't think I've ever had a blend with eggnog and coffee in it, so I thought this would be really fun to try. It's a dark brown wax with a little bit of red glitter on it. Definitely get that coffee right away. Just a hint of the eggnog, and this is a different eggnog than in, um, I think it's Cousin Eddie. Coffee is the dominant note here. The eggnog, I don't know about this particular eggnog. I'm going to have to wait and see when I melt it. It's got a little bit of an edge to it, like a spice note that might change once it's warm, but on cold, I'm my nose is kind of like, oh, I don't know about this one, but yeah, we'll see once it's melted. I will still enjoy getting to try this just because it's a different type of scent with this combination. Plus, I'm just really excited to get to try Zape's wax because I hear so many great things about her wax, and I'm so far, I'm really satisfied. Like, I ordered, I got it very quickly. Everything was packaged well. There's all these shreds um, in the box, making sure everything was firmly situated in the box, not rattling around on each other. And that really does make a difference as far as a customer feeling like, you know, your product is being sent out to you with care from the vendor and not just left up to the willy-nillies of what might happen in this transit. Um, just putting that care into making sure things have the best chances possible arriving to us in the best condition possible. Even though by and far most of these items were encased in plastic, like the clamshells, the scoops, the body care, there was only one item that I think really could have had any real damage to it done in shipping if it got beat up and yet despite all of that Ashley did an amazing job with seasonal uh, tissue paper and making sure everything just looked beautiful here on my end to open the box and I really appreciate that so much. Let me know down below if you picked up any of these scents this year or in the past if you've tried them. And also if you have a favorite Christmas scent from Zave or even from any time in the rest of the year, any season. Um, also let me know if you have a favorite type of body care product from her. There is quite a variety from lip balms and whip soap, lotions. Um, like a body butter type scrub as well as the whipped soap scrub and I'm really curious what is a favorite for other people so let me know that down below as well and I hope that wherever y'all are when y'all are watching this that y'all are having a wonderful holiday season I don't know if I'll be able to get this up before Christmas Day I will try my best to get it up before the end of the year at very least but 
if I don't get to talk to y'all before then, I hope everyone a wonderful holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Thank y'all for watching.